You're right on time. That's a first. Oh, please. This house is a trust sale, and it's by owner. So it's a three bedroom, two bath, about 1,500 square feet. The executive of the trust said they're asking for 10. The comps were in the high fours. So apparently, the person that lived here lived here for almost 60 years, original oh, wow. owner. Yeah. He Should said, be pretty modernized? Yeah, he said that they didn't do much over 60 years, but okay. we'll go check it out. The outside's cute, you know, with these palmaria trees. Definitely, we need to trim back a lot of things because it has a really cool lot. Like, it, it's a it's a big house. Yeah, this weird chain link fence would have to come down for sure. Well, yeah. I mean, it definitely has potential with the right amount of money. Huh. Well, it's original. Oh, wow, there's a lot of wallpaper. You know what's weird? Huh. Is how the looks come back around. So like 60 years ago, this wallpaper was in style. And guess what? 60 years later, it's kind of come back. Yeah, no. I'm not saying we're going to leave it. Yeah, I'm just saying no. it's kind of cool. This house is 1,500 square feet, and it has three bedrooms and two baths. From the listing, it looks like a pretty traditional layout. And the living spaces are really big. Wow, look how big this room is. So from the front door, you have a big family room here. Where's the kitchen? Uh, kitchen's right, kitchen's right there. Well, it's kind of weird because all the square footage is in this room and then the kitchen's really small. It'd be nice to open up this whole wall and really, really make it feel a lot bigger. Yeah, I mean, right here, look at all the space. You can do a seven or eight foot peninsula. Right, so what do you think we're looking at here if we do all that? As high as 12. Okay. Look at the size of this room. Look at this, this is interesting. Well, it was, it was probably used as a, Bedroom or something? Why would no, they have doors? I think that's just the style. Like, okay, so you know how now the style is for everything to be very open? Like 60 years ago, the style was for things to be more closed off. Okay, so that's the first door we were trying to go through. Right. What you know this? what? This could be an addition. So it better be permitted, because look, this is newer. And if we buy this house and it's not permitted, then we're gonna have to tear it down and lose all the square footage. Wait a minute, it's supposed to be a two bath. Did they call this a bathroom with no shower? Huh, let's go find out. Yeah, there's no shower. Oh, wait, is this a bedroom? Yeah, you know what? That's weird. This might be the master. Oh, no. It might be because it's an okay sized room and it's attached to a bathroom. Uh oh, that's not good. So this is the full bathroom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what's funny? The lantern tile is the exact same tile that we currently use in our flips and it's something they used 60 years ago. It's weird how the style comes back around. That's pretty wild, actually. That tile's been here for 60 years, but we don't use that wallpaper. Yeah, so what do you think we're looking at here? Got the whole bathroom, probably six or 7,000. That night, the estate came back with $390,000, and we accepted. We're still waiting to find out if the addition's permitted, which will affect our costs, so our fingers are crossed. Christina. Yeah? Hey, look what I found. What the heck is that? It's a safe. What? It's not locked. It looks like no one's opened it in like 30 years. Oh my god. I think there's something in there. That's freaking cool. What is that? What is it? Let's check it out. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at these antiques. My grandma had like the exact same kind of jewelry. So what do we do? Do we run to Mexico or do we give it back to the owners? <sighs> Definitely give it back. Interesting. We're gonna return this jewelry while the crew cleans up the rest of the house. Today is a big day because a contractor went to the city to find out if the addition is permitted or not. All right, it's all cleaned up. Hi. Good guys. What's up, buddy? The good news is, is this is permitted as a family room. Okay, well, that's great news, actually. Yeah. That's really good news. Yeah. All right, so what do you guys want to do with the layout in the kitchen? We take down this wall, and we do a really nice peninsula right here. It would open it up. It's going to look so much bigger. So if you want to do a peninsula, then all I need to do is drop power down here, run it through the cabinets, and we could probably come out to here, right? I think that would look really nice but we're gonna lose a lot of uppers. So why don't we just run the cabinets all the way to the corner? I agree. Yeah, you'd have to build better. that wall over. 
We'd have to make the opening to the hallway about a foot smaller so cabinets could run all the way, but it would get really expensive. So what do you think it would cost? Remove the wall, build out a peninsula, rebuild that wall and add all these cabinets. You're probably looking about 2,800 more. But don't more. forget the kitchen size just basically doubled. So from right here, peninsula. Okay, let's do it. That's gonna be, that's gonna be spectacular. Hey. Hi. This space looks so much better open. All right. It looks like seriously triple the size. It's a new house. So what do we think in design? So here's the wood floor throughout. I like it because it's kind of more on the lighter, more traditional side. And this would be the countertop. Okay. This could be my favorite backsplash I've ever found. So it kind of has a whole different... Yeah, it has metal, stone, and marble. Yeah, but it has that glam feel that I love. And then this is actually cabinet, kind of like an off-white, which I think looks really nice with the combination. Huh. The two things I question is, I think this cabinet would look better, and 100%, this is beautiful. This okay, goes I love that. perfect with the backsplash. I agree. I think this counter looks better, but I would have to disagree. I think this is just too dark, and I think it's just a little bit too modern. I think this look right here still like has that clean look. Yeah, this looks great. Okay, good. Love, love, love. Get this up there. Perfect. Yes. I love it. What do you think about the, the color? I think it's really, really pretty. And with that backsplash, it's going to look amazing. It's definitely going to be the nicest house in the area. You ready? Yeah. Move it or lose it. It is such a nice counter. Okay, this kitchen looks so good. I just love the color combination here, and I like how it still has like a traditional feel with the countertops. The backsplash is by far my favorite, and I love the cabinet color. It just all together, it, it honestly looks so amazing. Yeah, I mean, bringing the cabinets all the way to the wall, double the size of the kitchen, we've definitely increased the value. It's definitely a showstopper. This tree is actually one of my favorite trees. It's beautiful, so we definitely need to keep this one, and then there's also one back there too. Yeah, so we'd keep those two trees. So front yard, backyard, just rip everything out, do a planter bed with some color, and then put sod in. Okay, so we got landscaping figured out. Me and you need to figure out paint. I'm gonna head to the nursery and see what I can uh, find to come with this. Have yes. a good one. All right, bye, Jeff. So what do we have? Keeping with the 60s motif, let's do a mint green on the house with the white trim and clean up the front brick. So at the end of it, there's only brick area. We'll be right here at the entry. All right. It's gonna look good. I like it, it's gonna look cool. All right. All right. What do you want to do with these bamboo sticks? So, instead of this brick, I have an idea to take the bamboo and doing three heights between about a foot, 10 inches, and eight inches, and staggering it all around the yard. I think it's gonna look good. I'm glad you like it. Very pretty. I mean, it came out amazing, right? My only concern is, so we paid 390 for the house. We put about 80 into it, 490, that's 470. Our closing costs are gonna be about 20. So our break even is 490. Majority of the comps are in the high fours. Because of the amount of time, effort, energy, and design we put into this house, I feel like if we don't try to get as much as possible, then it was complete waste. The question is, we spent a lot of money and will it pay off? Some of the benefits here is obviously it's a super high design house, so if we found the right buyer, we're on a wraparound lot, we're single level, and the house came out very, very nice. So are you thinking like 549? Because of the potential to find the buyer that loves this house, especially the design, I think we can list up 569.9. It really has that wow factor. I think there is a chance we can get it. Oh my gosh. It's really nice. The staging really made the house. All right, here's the big question I had. The yard looks cool. Right? It does look cool. It's so different. The bamboo is cool. It's totally different than we've ever done. Yeah. This is still one of my favorite kitchens ever. Me too. I think this is actually my favorite backsplash we've ever done. So pretty. I like this room because it's just like elegant, really beautiful vibe. Ooh, so pretty. This bathroom is cool. I love this tile. Yeah, the lantern tile came out beautiful. We took a risk on this house, but it paid off because buyers love the design. Within a couple days of being on the market, we accepted an offer at $560,000.
which means we'll make over $65,000. Time to find another house to flip.